I want to show you guys how to make a quick do-it-yourself spreader for your fruit trees or other ornamental trees that you might want to spread those branches where they're too straight up. Uh, pears and apples are kind of famous for those uh, water sprouts and shoots and things like that that you want to prune out and the other branches that will be uh, your saving branches that you want to save to get at uh, anywhere from a 60 to a 45 degrees. Uh, I was kind of in a predicament of needing to spread some branches as uh, one of them that I spread I'll probably need to prune out but uh, for this year I might leave it but anyhow uh, I want to show you what I did use to do that things that I had laying around the house uh, consisted of a dowel rod and a safety pin uh, so let me go ahead and show you what this looks like this is the dowel rod it uh, spans uh, the branch the size that I need I just cut it to length and uh, here's another one down here you can uh, see if I can zoom in on that to show you the uh, it's basically a safety pin. I have a hard time zooming in on that. Um, let me try this side. There you go. And there's my helper, Cody. Good boy. where it uh, goes in. And right there it goes into the tree. So basically it's a spreader. And uh, you see it's got that flimsibility, flimsiness. And that's right there where the pin goes in. And this was uh, much more narrow. It was The branch was coming up here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit about how I did that. All right, first things first is we'll grab a, a dowel rod, depending on what size you want to span and uh, how long you want to go. Uh, you can get different size dowel rods you can use, anywhere from a quarter inch or less to, you know, seven sixteenths or such. Here's several different lengths. Here are the tools I use. Here are dowel rods. Uh, you need a coping saw, anything that you can really just cut these ends. Uh, you do want to have the ends to be you know, pretty clean cuts. You don't want that to be ragged and raspy, just little more places for debris and disease to get in. Here are just three different cut lengths, different uh, size uh, spanner bars that uh, just standard dowel rod you get from anywhere. So uh, not pictured here in the video uh, are the saw, the saws that you can use, coping saw, draw saw. Uh, chop saw, uh, you can use all kinds of things to uh, get them to length. I guess if you wanted to just break them, you could do that too. Uh, you just have a little bit rougher end. Um, so what I do is use this safety pin. This is a medium sized safety pin. It looks like it's about a uh, couple inches, inch and a half. But I like the thickness of the gauge uh, of that uh, wire. So what you want to do is you want to open this up and create the size pieces that you want as you saw in the picture earlier that actually sticks into the tree so this sharp end is going to go into the center of this dowel rod okay just picture the center there and what I want to do is I want to create a 45 degree cut here not a 45 but even sharper cut there with these at a particular length that allows me to get a diff distance into the branch, I'm sorry, into the uh, dowel rod. So what I'm doing is I'm creating the other angle to one end, one sharp end is going to go into the tree, the other sharp end is going to go into the dowel rod. So what I'm trying to do is get at least two out of here, if not three. Um, I might go a little bit further, can't remember how I did those out there, but I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that piece and I'm going to create that sharp angle and I'm going to snip that off. Okay. So you can see that created a little bit of a sharp angle. Could have gotten a little sharper. Uh, could have gotten a little sharper. All right. Then I'm going to take these Lyman pliers or dikes, whatever you want to call them. And uh, this one's a little bit wider. So I'm going to find that center, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to put my hand back some to make sure that I don't press it into my hand. And I'd actually pull my elbow in closer to my arm but for the video here I'll go ahead and 
So here we have the finished product. It would be like that on both ends. A good way to make sure you don't uh, force that into your hand would be to put this in a vise or put a good glove around your hand so that you don't uh, miss the rod uh, if you don't have the uh, uh, ability to get that in there without, uh, you know, make, make sure it's the safest situation you can have. What I would do afterwards is I would go ahead and uh, get some paint on a rag and, uh, you know, acrylic paint. Uh, whatever you want to do and just uh, or polyurethane and just wipe this rod down to make it a little bit more weather resistant to keep it from uh, breaking down if you want to use it for you know six weeks six months or whatever and uh, you also might uh, get some wire stock out of stainless or whatever if you want to uh, reuse these over and over again eventually a safety pin is not going to last long before it starts to I guess rust and uh, I don't know if that rust will affect the tree or whatever but apparently uh, online videos I've seen professionally they make something like this that's all out of steel and you know it's got real sharp pins on each end that taper down the steel that stick in each side that's why I came up with this idea but I'm um, giving it a try and uh, you might want to try it and uh, see how it works out for you no liability all disclaimers and everything as to how trees work and whether that'll affect your tree but uh, I mentioned it to a large nursery and they thought it was a pretty cool idea uh, but uh, anyhow you have to uh, contact the sciences and laws of nature to see if it has any adverse effect but uh, seeing those steel rods I'm sure if it's stainless steel it won't affect anything but uh, you do want to get that in there a, a good enough distance not too far uh, but uh, just so that it doesn't resist the tree really shouldn't be much resistance there since basically you're spreading it's pushing in anyway but uh, I'd like to leave it out probably about a little less than a quarter of an inch uh, it depends on how much of your taper is and you, know, you just need enough just for it to hold in place. You could leave it out probably an eighth inch and it'd probably be fine since you got that outward, that inward pressure spreading it. So anyhow, give it a shot uh, if you think it'll help you out. And a uh, quick easy fix for something you have around the house, quick cheap fix. You can cut them in the field to the length and just have your pins and stick them in and be ready to go. So uh, like and subscribe. Uh, it's Michael Watson. Uh, and uh, hope, hope it works for you.